virus is only doing its job guys so I'm gonna show you how to add certain exclusions within it so that you don't have what is called a false positive which means that the antivirus is actually reading that particular software or even URL as potential malware so there are certain software that you're gonna have to use um, even the ones that I recommended such as NordVPN you would have to add it as an exclusion within the, uh, the antivirus framework so I'm gonna show you how to do that so you would go into menu settings enter my password in here it's gonna take you into settings then you're gonna go into maintain exclusions you're gonna go into exclusions right so this is where I've excluded these sets of files from um being being blocked by the antivirus so this has to do with nord vpn in particular so if you had decided to go along with my advice to use the nord vpn service then this is for you i would have already explained what nord vpn does and how it works and what the benefits of it are right so i'm not going to be going over that in this video so these are the files that file names that you would have to the file paths that you would have to set up exclusions for so you want to make sure that nord is able to run um its program files within your 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 system right and also you have to make sure that the installation file which is this one is able to run so that after you install nord it actually works and your antivirus doesn't block it from running so it's very important so in order to retrieve these you would go to your nord um file on your desktop right click on it then go to properties you go to properties and then you would actually put this file in as an exclusion and you would also put this one in and while you're putting them in you would actually remove the remove these punctuation marks you would remove this one at the beginning and this one at the end right so it's gonna pretty much look like how how I have them here actually this one and this one right so once you set up these exclusions then the files are gonna be able to run as normal also you can do it for URLs you can do it for you can do it for URLs so if you have a URL that you need to whitelist maybe it's a site that um you you want to make sure that you can access then you would put it here and anything that you're adding in this section you would add it line by line so you, so you would add something I'm just gonna add and then you would click add so it shows up there right so that's all it is very simple take action with it